One, two, four, and then five and three to one. For this opening contest, the Rath Barry Glenview Studs maiden four year old mares. Ten of them going down to post. Yeah, that's. Won't be too much longer before they come under start starters or then for this opening contest. And uh, away they go then down to the first fence. Don't forget, of course, a couple of these runners failed to start last time, but uh, all the runners are away and away quite sensibly as well. It is Eddie's Pearl has taken them along at a nice steady pace there for Matt Scanlon. Just quickened up, just gone up and gone about 10 lengths clear now. Eddie's Pearl just taken them along. In front, we just lost a touch of sass there, unfortunately. Went down at, at that second fence. But uh, Eddie's Pearl taken along now at a, a real good gallop now. Uh, the rest of the field well strung out. Ineniski back in second. Miss Sirius back there in third. And the rest of the pack just bring them along at a nice steady pace. So it is Eddie's Pearl, the newcomer, going along then at a decent gallop now as they come down to fence number five and jump that very now in an isky just jumping it second miss Sirius back in third and eddie's pearl still out there in front so the third race is that we have the connections of thomas brewer number 14 running in the Third race, the connection from Thomas Brewer through the wave head, So, Eddie's Bowl then just takes them behind the changing area there and uh, seems to have settled down a little bit now and just going along there at a, a nice even gallop. The loose horse, thankfully, has just run out there, so should be absolutely fine as they come along with that and they're just whipped in at the back there by Bala McCree. So, then as they go out then with two circuits to run, you've got uh, Eddie's Pearl. Jump that fence very sensibly. In behind, in an Iski, who's jumped that very nicely as well. Miss Sirius then in third. Still Bala McCree just uh, out the back. Silver Tika in the uh, Brian Kilpatrick colours then back in fourth. So as they make their way then out onto the furthest point of the track and uh, Eddie Pearls come back to the field and Linnitsky back there in second just going up to, to challenge now the rest of the field they're all started to, to bunch up as they jump that one pretty nicely and Eddie's Pearl again all these maidens mares jumping pretty well Bala McCree then just got in a bit deep to that fence and um, Jockey just had to sit a little bit tight but now they settle down into their gallop and it is Eddie's Pearl just back down in the field. Linitsky back in second. You see down lifeboat Mona still there. And um, as they make their way then onto the far side, onto fence number nine. And again, probably not more than 10 lengths covering the whole field here. As they make their way down to that, Ellis Pearl then again sees a nice stride on that one. Mark Scanlon and all the rest of the runners just following them through. No one really wanted to play their hand now, just keeping hold of these horses. Obviously, very little experience for them, but uh, all traveling along pretty nicely. So they just uh, come back into the straight again. This is fences number 10 and 11. Will be the second last next time around, of course. It is uh, Eddie's Pearl, Linaniski, Silver Teak has actually made a, a lot of ground as well and seems to be going very, very well as well. Mrs. Robin, Lifeboat Myrna as well, a little bit further back. Miss Sinnett still there as well, just travel along. In fact, all these runners just travel along pretty nicely, well within themselves. As they go behind the uh, changing area, they've got uh, just six fences to jump. They start winding up the pace a little bit now, but it is still Eddie's Pearl out there in front and uh, going along pretty nicely. 
Lelinski back in second. Silver Tika third. Mrs. Robin just started to make a bit of ground. Eddie's Pearl then just running out to the left there, losing a little bit of ground. But uh, still there, Lelinski then. And uh, Eddie's Pearl, Eddie's Pearl then going back up into the lead again as they start to just wind things up a little bit. Ballon McCree still at the back, yet to make a real move, that one. So as they come round the furthest point of the course, it is Eddie's Pearl back in front, Silvanica just moving up into second, Leninsky is in third, Miss Sirius then still there with every chance in fourth, Mrs. Robin still there as they just come to this next fence, and oh, Mrs. Robin nearly real mistake there, but uh, it's absolutely fine. As they go out then onto the far side, just starting to quicken the pace a little bit now, and they're starting to bunch there in front. Just four fences to jump then in this opening mare's maiden race. As they come down, Leninsky is out, hit the front there, Leninsky. And uh, Leninsky just upsides, but uh, Eddie's Pearl just dropping back a little bit now. But it is Lifeboat Myrna is the horse who started to make ground. Lifeboat Myrna is actually in front on the outside now. And uh, Silver Tika still there as well. But uh, as they come to, Mrs. Robin there still there as well, coming back into it. So on the far side, Lilininski, Lifeboat Mona, it is now on that far side. Lifeboat Mona seems to be going the best as well for uh, Gary Murphy and Mrs. Robin on the inside. And uh, they just turned to the straight now. They've got two less to jump. It's going to be pretty close, unfortunately, for you. <laughs> as they come down to the second last, it is uh, Lifeboat Mona who's in front. Lifeboat Mona as well, just kicking on. Mrs. Robin's still there. As they come down to last, good jump there by Lifeboat Mona. Lifeboat Mona as they come down to the line. Mrs. Robin's still there. Miss Sirius as well on the outside, but it is Lifeboat Mona. Lifeboat Mona who actually wins the race. Mrs. Robin back in second. Miss Sirius is third and Leninsky back in fourth.